promise. Look at the promise he makes for you and I. He says, you believe in God, believe also in me. My father's house has many rooms. If that were not so, would I have told you that I am going there to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come back and take you to be with me that you also may be where I am. Notice Jesus right now is talking about Not a home here on earth, but he's talking about a heavenly home, the home that you were designed for, the home that you long for, the home that's calling your name. Although you're running, although you feel lost, he's saying, come back home. And he's saying, in this home, this is not just some state of mind, but this is a real physical place. See, heaven to Jesus is not a state of mind. Heaven to Jesus is a real place. In fact, he says in this home, there are many rooms. That's good news for you and I because this house is big and there's plenty of room for you. There's plenty of room for me. There's plenty of room for people in this city. God is building a home and he wants people in it. This word home in many other translations will be the word mansion. And when Jesus used the word mansion in the Greek, it means an abiding place. What Jesus is saying is that I am preparing a home for you, that you will abide with the everlasting God, that you will walk in real communion with him. It's a permanent, real place. Heaven is a prepared place for a prepared people. And he's speaking to the disciples and he's speaking to you and I. He says, don't let your hearts be troubled. Don't worry. Get past your anxiety. Get past your fear. You don't have to walk in trouble. You don't have to walk in fear because I've got a great promise. It's not a temporary promise. It's an eternal promise. I'm building a house for you. I remember when Don Street and I, we did a study abroad program in college. We studied in Cambridge, England at Cambridge University. And it was an amazing time. Uh, did a focus class on C.S. Lewis. And towards the end of the trip, we were given two weeks to go backpacking through Europe. And when we were in Europe, man, I remember going to Paris. And when I was in Paris, we went and saw the Palace of Versailles. And man, this is one of the most beautiful palaces on earth. It's ornate. It's beautiful. Many rooms. I mean, it's beautiful. It's designed for royalty. And I was thinking as I saw that palace, it's beautiful. It's incredible. But how many of you know it pales in comparison to the home that God is preparing for you called heaven? Guess what? That home called heaven, it's for kids of royalty. It's for king's kids. It's for children of God. That's you. That's me. And God is preparing that place. Come on, somebody. If you believe you have a hope called heaven, give them a shout all over this house.